everybody in Baltimore is eager to see what your staff will look like. What, what's your timetable? When do you hope to have everybody in place? Well, you know, Ozzy said it best. We're not in a big hurry. What, we, what, what we're in a big hurry to do is put together a great staff. We want a bunch of guys that are have great character, good people, number one, just like we want players of great character and who are good people. We want guys who have football knowledge, hardworking guys, and uh, guys that want to be here. So uh, there's a lot of good candidates outside the building, inside the building that, that want to be coaching for the Baltimore Ravens and uh, just pick the best group that we can and really the best group that fits together that we can. We get a sense of just how proud your dad is uh, in you and, and having this opportunity to be a head coach. What was it on your end making that phone call uh, to him last night and just knowing how much it would mean to him? Uh, well, I knew he was on pins and needles because the interview yesterday went pretty deep, you know, and I didn't know how long it was going to go, and he didn't, so, and there was no time in there to call and just say, you know, hey, it's going okay or not, so he was dying to hear, and uh, it was, it was, uh, they, they came apart on the other side of the phone. Tom was there, Joni was there, my mom was there, all the kids were there, so uh, it was pretty exciting. It's, it's one of those snapshots in life that you'll never forget. The interview process, I mean, being in here twice, and you said, really, Steve had some of the toughest questions for you. At any point, nerves or how you got through that part of it as you're looking at the owner knowing he's going to make the final decision and where you're probably sweating a little bit on the other end? Well, yeah, I mean, you're, you're always a little bit nervous because you, not, not, it wasn't so much about getting a job or not getting a job. You know, I, I never looked at it that way. You just want to go in and do a good job. It's just like running a practice as a coach or, or practice as a player. You want to go out and have a good practice. I want to come down here and, and, and do a good job. And uh, But with Steve, challenging, man, challenging. And uh, very, uh, uh, I learned a lot. You know, there were a lot of times where we were talking back and forth, and I pulled out my pencil and took notes. And there, whether whether this job happened or not, I felt like I was going to come out of here a better coach, a better person for having talked to Steve and then the rest of the guys too. So it was kind of a give and take. It wasn't just they were taking from me. I was getting a lot of great stuff from them too. It was positive.